hour outside of Ho Chi Minh City in Vietnam, a vast network of tunnels are hidden 20 feet below the ground. They're called the Ku Chi Tunnels, and tourists travel from around the world to crawl inside. They love ducking below camouflage trapdoors and cramming themselves in the tight passageways. But there's a darker history to these popular tunnels. The Vietnamese began digging the tunnels in the late 1940s during Vietnam's War of Independence from France. So quick history on the Kuchi tunnels. This area known as Kuchi was originally inhabited by farmers and during the French Rebellion, the tunnels were originally dug as a way to escape the conflict. As the rebellion progressed, many of the tunnels were then connected, forming a network. During the Vietnam War, from 1955 to 1975, Ho Chi Minh City, known as Saigon, was the southern Vietnamese capital. The tunnels expanded from Saigon all the way to the Cambodian border. The National Liberation Front and North Vietnamese troops used the tunnels for attacks, transportation, and living quarters. Facing South Vietnamese and Western forces that were stronger and better equipped, the National Liberation Front turned to guerrilla tactics. They would launch sneak attacks, surprising enemies from the tunnels, before disappearing below ground again. The tunnels were a strong defense from bombing overhead and were built to live in for months at a time. There were dorms for sleeping, kitchens for cooking, and dining halls for eating. The National Liberation Front had meeting rooms and storage space for ammunition. They dug wells for fresh water, and there were even theaters to entertain soldiers during downtime. One of the most challenging aspects was breathing underground. The troops dug ventilation holes that were camouflaged as termites' nests, tree stumps, and grass. But even then, there was sometimes a lack of air. They also dealt with disease, flooding, insects, and snakes. This is still working. They hang it in, in the mirror. Of the 3.3 million Vietnamese men and women who died during the war, 45,000 of them lost their lives defending the Ku Chi tunnels. The Vietnamese government preserved the tunnels, which now serve as a war memorial and museum. We're now going into the Ku Chi tunnels. Today, visitors have the opportunity to learn and understand how the troops lived and survived. They dive 18 to 30 feet below ground and explore parts of the tunnels. These areas have been expanded to fit tourists, but they're still cramped quarters. Oh, oh that's a lie. How people did that, I do not know. That wasn't even the actual size. That was like three times bigger. Visitors can also learn the different techniques troops use to avoid infiltration of the tunnels. The War Memorial has replicas of booby traps found above and below ground during the war. And at an on-site firing range, tourists can shoot an AK-47 rifle and other guns used during the war. It's super loud. I never would have thought. So I never shot a gun, but I feel like this is an opportunity to in a fairly safe environment. Oh my god. <laughs> and while visitors shoot, crawl, and learn, the tunnels serve as a chilling reminder of the Vietnam War. <laughs> 